$50 a day, passive income in the next 12 months. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. I'm gonna tell you what idea you need. I'm gonna tell you what website and what theme you need. I'm gonna tell you how to get traffic. I'm gonna tell you how to monetize the traffic. And I'm gonna give you my secret way for getting more traffic that I'm amazed more people don't know about and aren't optimizing for. But this is gonna be a beefy video. We got a lot to cover, so I'm not gonna ramble. We're just gonna jump straight into it and uh, let's get going. Roll the intro. If you don't know me, my name's Sean Ogle. I'm the founder of Location Rebel, where for the last 11, yes, 11 years, I've been teaching people how to build niche sites, blogs, uh, affiliate marketing sites, freelancing websites. I help people make money online so that they can spend more time doing the stuff they love to do. Uh, if you don't trust me, if you don't think I'm the real deal, just Google my name, Sean Ogle, or Google Location Rebel. Uh, you can see I've been doing this for a long time and I know my stuff. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to make passive income. We've talked about you know, different ideas for niche sites and blogs and stuff and other videos, but I just wanted to lay it all out there because I'm going through this process right now. Um, I started a new site in February, and by next February, this site will be making $50 a day in passive income and probably a lot more because it's off to a good start. In a lot of my videos, I try and be funny, we try and like entertain, we try and do this, but there's there's a lot to cover in this one, so I'm just gonna kinda bam, 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 try not to ramble, try and keep it concise, and if you want more details about a specific topic, because I know this is kind of the, the overview video, uh, leave a comment below and I will either make a video on it or I will point you to a video that we have already made on it because we've done a lot of videos about passive income, about niche sites, about affiliate sites, about blogging, about all this stuff. So. Uh, if we don't go into the thing you want to know more about in enough detail, just let me know and I'll make sure you get your answers. I need to preface this. This is not going to make you $50 a day in passive income next week. This will have you making $50 a day in passive income next year. But this is a way that actually works. All that stuff people are promising you about being able to do it like overnight, it doesn't work. Those people are lying to you and trying to sell you a product. This process while it takes a little bit longer, it actually works. Not to mention, if you create a site in a niche you really love, there are going to be all sorts of fringe benefits that come along with that, like notoriety in your industry, free stuff, free trips. It can be great on top of all the passive income, but it will not happen overnight. If, you, if, if this is not what you want, if you're trying to do it overnight, go watch another video, go buy someone's product for $5,000 that they're gonna sell you, and then come back to me when it doesn't work. And then we can start this all over again and recognize it's gonna take a few months, maybe a few more than a few months, maybe a year, but it's gonna work if you do it properly. Okay, just had to get that out of my system. Okay, number one, first thing you need to do if you wanna make $50 a day in passive income, is, well, you need an idea. I'm gonna tell you what your idea is. You're going to start a niche site. You're gonna start a blog where you're going to monetize it through affiliate marketing and display ads. And everything we do, all of these steps are geared towards making you as much money as possible through affiliate marketing and display ads. If you don't know what affiliate marketing is, they're essentially special links. If you click on the link and you buy the product, then you get a commission. And display ads are essentially other people's advertising on your website. So when people are browsing through, you see an ad, that's a display ad. Every time you see it, somebody's making you know a little bit of money. So that's how we are going to make the passive income. But unfortunately, to get to that point, there's some active work. Okay, so we know we're creating a niche site. First thing you need to do, you need to pick a niche. Ideally, the niche is going to have the following criteria. Uh, lots of products for you to review. Uh, a lot of high-end products and a lot of mid-range to low-end products so that when you're getting started, you can invest in some of these things, do reviews, and then work your way up to the higher dollar products, which are gonna pay larger commissions down the road. Uh, you want this industry to be something that people like to spend money on. So for instance, one of my sites is in golf. People are obsessed with golf. They want to spend money on golf. They can't wait to go buy new clubs or go play a new course or whatever. Uh, photography and gear is another thing. People can't wait to buy that new camera, or buy that new lens. Um, it's an area where people are excited to spend money. And both of those are also great because, you know, you can go buy a sleeve of golf balls for 10 bucks. Uh, you can also buy a set of golf clubs for $2,000. So there's lots of different affiliate opportunities and lots of things that I can potentially review. So when you're thinking about your niche, think about you know areas where people have money, areas where people are excited to spend money, and generally bigger industries uh, where there's gonna be a lot of opportunities to create content. Because if you can't create a lot of content, then you can't get enough traffic in order to make your $50 a day in passive income, and ideally a lot more down the line. Once you've got an idea, next thing you're gonna do is come up with 50 post ideas. 
That's it. That's all you have to do. Sit down at your computer, 50 post ideas. Why do I say this? Because if you can't come up with 50 post ideas, then you're probably not going to be able to have enough content down the line to keep this thing going. So the site that I mentioned that I recently started, it's all about cocktails. So before I started my cocktail site, I created a list and I came up with 77 different things. And I did that in about 20 minutes. Um, so I knew that I could write all sorts of stuff about cocktails on down the line for a long time to come. So essentially all we're doing here is making sure that there are enough ideas, that there is enough content out there, that you're excited enough about this to be able to carry this thing through to the end. Because I'm not saying this is gonna happen overnight. I'm not saying you're gonna make $50 a day and passive income uh, tomorrow. You know, realistically, it'll take probably six to 12 months. Uh, but after that, once you've got that base, then it's a lot easier to scale up from 50 to 100 to $1,000 a day. I'm not, I'm almost at $1,000. I'm not quite at $1,000 a day, but that'd be a nice place to get. All right, you got your niche, you got your post ideas, now we gotta set up a website. What I would do is I would go to WPEngine.com, I would sign up for hosting with WP Engine. If you've watched any of my videos before, you might have also seen me recommend Bluehost. I think Bluehost is fantastic, especially for people that are getting started with freelance services website, so they're not necessarily trying to get a ton of traffic. But for you, if you're trying to make passive income, you're trying to get as much traffic as you can. WP Engine's gonna give you more tools in order to do that. Uh, your site's going to be faster, it's gonna be a little bit more secure. Um, it's optimized for WordPress, which is what we're gonna be building this on. So I generally recommend you spend a little bit more money to get WP Engine over Bluehost if you are trying to do a niche site and try and do a blog. I would then use the Magazine Pro theme from Studio Press. So the cool thing about that is WP Engine bought Studio Press. So when you set up a hosting account with WP Engine, you are getting all of their themes for free. So you can go through, find ones you like, but I think the Magazine Pro, which is the one that I use for my cocktail site, slightly pretentious, I think it's awesome. It's fast, it looks good, it's easy to customize, and I found that it's been great for search rankings. So rather than messing around, trying to figure out what, like what's what, which one's best, I would just go sign up for that one. Next step, you're going to install Yoast. This is a plugin that's gonna help you with your SEO. Then you're gonna install WP Product Review. This is a free plugin that's gonna make it really easy to do product reviews on your site. If you've ever searched Google for product name review, you've probably seen a bunch of stuff that came up that said, you know, 4.7 stars out of five, review by Sean. This free plugin is going to allow your search results to have those things in there. And it's gonna make it really easy for your readers to see whether or not you like a product or not. Um, from there, I would also get either the Lasso plugin, or if you don't wanna spend the money on it, then the Pretty Links plugin. But Lasso is gonna make it really easy to connect to Amazon, display uh, all your affiliate links, and make it easier for people to click and then buy, making you money. Next step to get into that $50 a day and in passive income is spend 10 hours researching content. So there's a lot that goes into this, but you know, probably most importantly is the keyword research. What are people actually searching for? How difficult is it to create a piece of content and rank for that search term? Um, what are your competitors doing? How many backlinks do they have pointing to their site? There's all these things that you can be doing to research. And essentially what you're trying to do is you're trying to figure out what is the right type of content to create. So you've already got your list of 50 different content ideas. Well, now we're gonna take those ideas and we're gonna figure out what key terms do we wanna actually use? You know, what should this title actually be that's going to get a lot of people searching for that term, that's gonna get people clicking on that term and then get you traffic in the process. Um, if you're not sure where to start, I've got a video below that's all about keyword research. Um, so I would start with that. I use the tool SEM Rush, which I think is fantastic because it allows you to explore so many things around different keywords, different backlinks, competitor websites. It'll do an audit of your website to make sure everything looks good. Um, and if you don't wanna spend the money for it, they've got a, it's at least a seven, if not a 14 day free trial. Uh, so I'd sign up for that, at least get all the information you need and go from there. But doing this research and figuring out exactly without a shadow of a doubt, what is the best content to be creating for traffic, for your readers to answer the questions and solve the problems they have, that's gonna be key to getting off on the right foot and getting traffic to your site. I'd then take all this information and you need a place to keep it organized. And you can do this in SEM Rush a little bit, uh, but I would create a spreadsheet. So, you know, the keyword that you wanna rank for, how many search terms a month it gets, uh, what your headline is going to be and the blog posts and how you're going to do that, and then any notes you have uh, that you're gonna to wanna to use for when you're creating the article. But by having the spreadsheet and having all of your posts and all of your you know, keyword research in one easy to read spreadsheet, it's gonna make it a lot easier for you to stay on top of things and create content on a regular basis. 
All right, next up, before we get going to town on creating content, uh, you wanna start doing a little bit of research on affiliate programs. Because we are doing this to make money, we need to make sure that within your industry, there are products you can review that you can potentially make money off of. Um, so what I would normally do is I would just type in product name or company name affiliate program, see what comes up. A lot of companies have their own affiliate program so you can work directly with them and make anywhere from five to 50% uh, for referring people to their business. Uh, the most common affiliate program in the world is the Amazon affiliate program, where generally you can make around 3% for every product that you refer. So if you click on a link to buy a cocktail book on my cocktail website, and then you buy the product, then I'll get a small commission. In that case, it'll literally probably be like 40 cents. But the good news is, is if they buy anything else, say they buy a Rolex along with that cocktail book, then I'm gonna get a commission on that too which actually happened one time. One time I got a $600 commission because somebody bought a Rolex through my Amazon link. To that person, I thank you. But in doing this research early on about the affiliate programs, that's gonna help kind of dictate your content a little bit. Because if there are affiliate programs that maybe pay 40%, whereas a similar product they only pay 10% or 3% if it's only available through Amazon, then it might you know, help you prioritize the one that's going to have the higher commission so that you can start making more money more quickly. All right. Everything we've talked about, I mean, you should be able to do this in a week, a weekend. Um, you know, the research, getting your site set up, coming up with your idea. Um, this, that's, that's all stuff that, you know, doesn't take a whole lot of time. The time consuming part is creating the content. And the great thing about this is this content, it's gonna work for you forever. I still have posts that I wrote 10 years ago, 11 years ago. My bucket list still gets hundreds of people that view it a day. And I wrote that in May of 2009, which is crazy. So you're gonna start creating a lot of content, but this is content that's gonna work for you for a long time to come. And there are four types of content you should start creating early on, right now, in order to maximize the potential of the site early on. These are product reviews, best posts, list posts, and personal content. So here's what I mean by that. Product review, pretty simple. Product name review, why this is the best blank on the market or whatever it might be. I love product reviews because they're one of the fastest ways to build trust with your audience as long as you do it authentically. Uh, also get traffic because a lot of times people are searching for product reviews before they buy something um, and make sales because generally people that are searching for a product review are looking to buy something. So if your review persuades them and they click your link and buy the product, you can start making affiliate sales really quickly. Um, you know, it only took me like six weeks from when I really started publishing on Slightly Pretentious, the cocktail site, to making my first $95 affiliate commission. And now the site's making a couple hundred bucks a month, just like literally three, four months into it. Um, and traffic is starting to grow exponentially. So product reviews are awesome. The second type of content is best posts. These ones are great because they piggyback off your product reviews. So let's say I've done product reviews for five different cocktail books. And then I create a post that is best cocktail books that links out to each of the product reviews that I've done. One, that's telling Google, hey, I'm kind of an authority on these cocktail books. Uh, but two, it's giving people more information and establishing your trust. If they see that you've reviewed five different products in the same category, then they're gonna be like, oh, this person really has done their due diligence. They know what they're talking about. And then chances are, if you've given them all of these options, they don't have to go to other sites to find reviews of different products. Um, you're doing that for them. Not only is it a good way to get traffic, but it can be a great way to make affiliate sales as well, especially in tandem with similar product reviews. Third type of content, list posts. 10 best, 10 worst, 10 things I regret, 10 mistakes, all that kind of stuff. People love that. So when you've, you're doing your keyword research, figure out what your keyword is and then work that into a list post. That is going to be something that's very easily clickable. And that secret I mentioned, my kind of secret way to get traffic that we're gonna talk about at the end of this video relies heavily on this. So uh, just kind of tuck that away, keep that in mind. How are we doing? I know, this is, this is a lot of information. We're covering a whole process that you could literally create a whole course. Well, I have created a whole course on this. It's called Hobby Hacking. It's how to build a niche site that allows you to do more of the stuff you like to do. So I'll link to that below if you're interested. But like I said, bear with me. We're getting through this. Finally, the fourth type of post, and that's personal content. And what I mean by that is stuff that is 
only there to build a relationship with your existing audience. How do you get them to trust you? How do you get them to like you? How do you get them to be entertained by you? How do you get them to want to see more from you? And that's in the personal content. So maybe it's just telling personal stories. Maybe it's opening up and being vulnerable. So if you've subscribed to this YouTube channel for a while, you've seen that maybe one out of every five videos or whatever is just, it's more personal. It's just, you know, me on a vlog with friends or me, you know, being vulnerable and talking about, you know, something that I'm going through. And that's basically to tell you, hey, you're not alone. Everybody goes through this and I am actually a real person and you can trust me because you can't trust me, right? No, really, that, that, that sounded cheesy, but you can trust me. So even though those posts won't necessarily always get you a ton of traffic, they're great for getting the traffic you do get to want to stick around and come back and follow along on your journey. So from there, those are the four types of posts. There's five other types of posts we talk about in hobby hacking that can kind of amplify some of these things. Uh, but I would start with those. They will be super effective to starting to get your first visitors to your website. And realistically for the next like three months, that's just what you need to do. Take those four types of posts, cycle through them, create content three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, post Monday, Wednesday, Friday on your site within your niche, um, product reviews, list posts, best of posts, personal content, do that for three months. I know it seems tedious, it seems boring, but what we're trying to do is build a base of content and establish you as an authority. That's all I've been doing on Slightly Pretentious. I post a couple times a week. I haven't been doing outreach. I haven't been doing social media. I've just been creating content. And it's been crazy because especially in the last month, traffic has increased exponentially and I've done no outreach. I've done no marketing. I haven't been trying to get backlinks. All I've been doing has been creating good content based off of the research that I did early on. So. For the next few months, that's that's what you're going to do. It's going to be work, but trust me, it's gonna pay off when you got all that sweet, sweet passive income coming in. All right, next thing you should do when you've created some content and you need to, you know, need a little bit of a change of pace is you wanna create a free email opt-in. Uh, you wanna give people a really compelling reason to get on your email list. So for instance, you know, with my golf site, I've used how to play private golf courses, seven strategies to play the best golf courses in the world. So with my cocktail site, the one I'm working on is how to create a killer home bar for under $500. With Location Rebel, we've got a free six day course all about how to get started freelance writing, or in this case, how to get started building a niche site. Um, so create something that people are going to be want that's genuinely useful and genuinely valuable and start building your email list. Because again, that strategy that I said I was gonna talk about at the end for getting traffic, it pretty heavily relies on having at least a little bit of an email list. You don't have to have it. It's already working for me with Slightly Pretentious and I don't have much of an email list, but you can pour some gasoline on it if you do. Aim to make this free gift somewhere in the two to 5,000 word range and you can use the tool Beacon uh, to create really, really quick PDFs that look great. Uh, that people can download. And if you're trying to figure out what email service to use, I recommend ConvertKit. I've personally been using it for like four or five years now. It's great, it's simple, and it's powerful. All right, next thing, you're creating content. You've got your free gift. Uh, now I would get involved in the online communities within your industry. Facebook groups, Reddit groups, paid forums, start becoming a fixture in these communities so that when you decide to share something on your blog, people are like, oh, this is great. I'd love to see this from you, as opposed to them just screaming about self-promotion and shameless plugs and all of that. So for instance, there's a couple cocktail groups I'm a part of on Facebook. There's a couple golf groups and maybe once or twice a month, I will share something from my site. And because I'm not constantly blasting people with my own blog posts, uh, they tend to do really well. I tend to get a lot of subscribers from it. I get people that click over, they ask a lot of questions. It makes things engage, people then know me. And if you continue to do this over a longer period of time, you're gonna start to become known in your industry, um, which is one of the best things that you can do. Because again, if you're known and people like you, they trust you, then they're gonna wanna come to your site more often than not. All right, now this is where typical advice would be go do a bunch of outreach and try and get a bunch of backlinks to your site. Because generally speaking, Backlinks are the currency of the internet. The more links you have pointed at your site from other sites, the better your search rankings are gonna be. And while backlinks can absolutely help, you do not have to go after them. For instance, like I said, I have not done a single piece of outreach for Slightly Pretentious, and my traffic is looking like this right now. Um, all I've been doing is creating content. So if you're an introvert and you don't wanna to have to worry about that, you just wanna create content in your little bubble, that's all you gotta do. Just keep creating content. Don't worry about the backlinks despite what all the experts tell you. Yes, if you get a bunch of backlinks from reputable sites, that can help. It can speed up the process. If you wanna go down that road, cool, go down that road. We've got videos for how to do that. I'll link it below. But don't worry about it. Don't stress about it. You don't have to have backlinks to make passive income, at least not early on. Okay, we're there. 
we're at the end. If you've been doing all this and you go through this process for a year, you'll be making 50 bucks a day in passive income. You can probably stop writing. You can just let your site sit there, chill, update it a little bit as necessary and uh, have a nice little side income. Or you can scale it up and uh, be making a lot more than $50 a day. But I promised you, I've got one little secret traffic tip that's worked out really well for me. Wanna know what it is? It's called Google Discover. So Google Discover came out in the summer of 2018. And so essentially what it is, is if you open up the Chrome app on your phone uh, and you hit new tab and you haven't already you know, clicked on a link from somebody else, it's gonna come up with a list of recommended articles for you based off your search history, based off your preferences. And so if Google likes your site, if they deem you trustworthy, if they think you have good content, then what they can start doing is they'll start taking your posts and plugging them into Google Discover. And if it does that, you can get an avalanche of traffic very quickly. So as an example, I took my top 100 golf courses in the world post on Breaking 80. It's my personal list of the top 100 courses. I got over 15,000 views to that post within three days because it got picked up on Google Discover. I've got display ads on that site. Just one of those days, I made 500 bucks in one day from display ads. In just a second, we're gonna talk about why Google Discover and getting these avalanches of traffic are beneficial to that passive income goal and how that works. We're gonna tell you how that traffic actually turns into dollars. But first, I just wanna give you some of the basics of how to be discovered in Google Discover. So, first thing you need to do is you need to make sure your headline is very clickable. So some boutique product review from some product nobody's ever heard of, it's probably not going to work. Uh, but like one that took off for me was uh, the 10 best golf courses you've never heard of. So if you're a golfer and you see that link come up, you're like, yes, I wanna know what those are, click. And the more people that click early on when Google's kind of dabbling, maybe they find your post and they're like, oh, we'll show this to a few people. If a lot of people start clicking, then they're gonna show it to more people. And if they spend a lot of time on your site reading it, then they're gonna show it to even more people and it can become this avalanche of traffic. But you have to have a good headline that's going to get people to click. Also, I noticed that they tend to favor images with videos and or photos. So you wanna use a lot of media to mix up your text, keep it interesting, have some nice visuals. Uh, that's gonna be that much more compelling for Google Discover. And it's also gonna keep people on your site longer, which is one of the things that they look at. But frankly, the most important thing I've found with Google Discover is Google just has to like you. They have to trust you. They have to look at you as an expert. That's why with golf, breaking 80 tends to work really well. Uh, with cocktails, I'm just now getting discovered in Google Discover there because all I've been doing is writing about cocktails. Uh, Location Rebel, I've definitely had, I probably get 100 to 200 views a day just from random posts on Google Discover for travel or for entrepreneurship. And a little quick tip is you can go into google.com slash webmasters, uh, register your domain, and Google will give you all sorts of information about your search traffic, um, how long people are spending on your site, all of this stuff, including Google Discover. It'll show you how many times they've shown a particular post in Google Discover. It'll show you how many clicks people have clicked on uh, from Google Discover. It'll show you what posts they are showing. Um, so it can give you all sorts of information that can be really beneficial. So I know that was just a brief overview. If you want more information on Google Discover, let me know and I might be able to do a whole separate video about it, but there's a lot to cover there. So this is just a, a cursory overview. Finally, display ads. So we've done all of this work. You have built a niche site. You have become an authority. You have got product reviews. You're making a little bit of money through affiliate revenue. You are getting traffic from search, from Google Discover, from you know the people that find your content and link to you. Uh, but how, on top of the affiliate revenue, how do you actually turn that into passive income? Well, display ads. Five years ago, that was a dirty word. Uh, all the advertisements were ugly. Well, they're still kind of ugly, but the network just didn't work very well. And it wasn't worth cluttering your site with ads for the amount of money you made. But now there are a few networks out there, specifically Mediavine and AdThrive, uh, that make the user experience much better for you and they pay you a lot more money. So the goal here is to get to 50,000 visitors a month. Mediavine, once you've got 50,000 visitors a month, then they will approve you to be in their network. And so I've been on Mediavine for almost a year on Breaking AP and I make anywhere from 30 to $500 a day in ads. 500, that's the top end. But on average, I would say it's like 50 or 60 bucks a day in ads. And all that's been because I've just created a bunch of content. I've done no outreach for Breaking 80, none. 
Like people have linked to me because they found me. Maybe I've done podcast interviews and they'll link to them from there, but I, it's not like I've gone to a hundred people and said, hey, will you link to, to my post? I haven't done any outreach. All I've done is create content. And through that, Google has rewarded with me traffic. People are finding me on Discover. I get some traffic from Instagram and social. On that site, on average, I only get 2000 views a day, which isn't a ton, um, but it's enough to you know make me thousands of dollars a month in passive income. So that's what you're trying to do. I know this was a lot of information. We covered a lot of things. We went over a lot of stuff and you might be super bored, but if you follow that process, you will be able to make 50 bucks a day in passive income over the course of the next year. I guarantee it. Uh, frankly, if you put even more effort into it, you can probably get there a lot sooner, but I'm assuming you've only got five or 10 hours a week to do this. And I think a year is a pretty reasonable time frame to be making that amount of money. Okay. My throat's sore, I'm tired, I, this has been a lot. It's hot in here. I still don't have air conditioning in this room and you probably want to get to work creating your passive income niche site. So go do that. Um, if you want help, I've got a whole course that kind of walks you through how to get started in even more depth than this. It's free, it's six days. You can go sign up below or you can join Location Rebel Academy which has hobby hacking, which is a full 50 step course for how to build a niche site is it's intense, but it, I make it very easy. It's very clear. You're gonna know exactly what to do, step by step. It's great. Um, this has been long enough, so subscribe to the channel, check out the free course, and uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you want me to cover in more depth, and I will point you towards the right video or I'll shoot a new one. And with that, hope you have a great day. We'll see you soon. Peace.